Alrighty gang, we are back, hopefully much more refreshed than from that last night's video of recording PvP. Well, we'll talk about all that there as, as the video gets deeper and deeper. We got Crash of the Titans with Galactus. This one here is actually based off of the... 90s cartoon of the Fantastic Four where Ghost Rider Danny Ketch gives a pin and stare to Galactus and that's all you need to really know. 90s cartoons were weird. Now Galactus isn't going to be a, a tile mover per se but he has moves that affects the board so the the one thing that we do need to worry about is his cosmic wrath ability i think it's his black ability where if he gets 28 ap and black he'll instantly win the fight so for lesser equipped ghost riders that's something you do need to be mindful of uh let's see here one of his abilities i want to say it's the blue ability will create countdown tiles on the board, uh, three turn countdown tiles, that when they reach zero, they change some number of tiles into cosmic tiles, which are just tiles, you know, just look a little bit different, like nothing special about them. And then Galactus is purple, I think it's Devourer, where he where he'll destroy those cosmic tiles, he'll gain AP based on the number of cosmic tiles he destroys and whatever colors that they land on. So if one of the countdown tiles turns, you know, a basic tile into like a red cosmic tile, he'll gain red AP whenever he uh, devours. And now obviously he can't be stunned or sent airborne or you know, any shenanigans that the player can use to, to quote unquote, turn off Galactus. That doesn't work. All right, so we got Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze here. A green, red, and black user. His green ability costs 12. He'll create at least two attack tiles on the board. And this powers AP can be reduced by one for however many friendly attack tiles that you have on the board. But the the absolute minimum that it can be is six AP. And how you would get it lower, it's his red ability. His red ability it costs eight. It creates a a repeater tile on the board that damages the target and will do additional damage to the target if they happen to be a villain which that's what Galactus is and then at the start of each turn when the repeater tile reaches zero it creates some number of attack tiles on the board so you can see the synergy there with green and then finally, Pen and Stare, which is his black ability. This costs 10. The way I got it set up at level 5, it'll do 200% damage to the target. You know, for all the damage that they have done throughout the fight. And if you, you click on the ability, it'll show you how much damage that the uh, enemy character has done. So again, that's something you want to keep in mind. For lesser group growth riders, you want to you want to get your black AP boosted, so the black green boost, and then you probably want to boost red as well. Um, if you're going to rely on penance there, I remember from past video, well not past videos, but past times when I did this here with Ghost Rider and not champion. Not having a uh, pen and stare at least, at least at level two, level three, you know, that puts 
have put things in a bind, so to speak, because you're relying upon Galactus to do enough damage to you, and he's not going to do enough damage because you're trying to match away his cosmic tiles, and then, you know, do you have enough, do you have enough strength in both green and red, and, and yada yada yada, so, we're going to throw on some, we're going to throw on these team up boosts here, and we're going to throw in purple, because again, I'm not going to use any AP that actively affects Ghost Rider. You can't use team up tiles and, and crash the Titans, and you can't use, I mean, you, I can use colors that, that don't affect the character, so, so you can go in and be like, okay, well, he's doing this here, you know, relatively clean and plus to the boost milestone. All right. So one thing that I will do, unlike how I do in my other videos, it's like I will provide a little bit of commentary here just so we can understand how Galactus works. Now, T. Harris's Great Machines tile is how it converts you know, tiles in the cosmic tiles and then deals damage. So he's gonna do that there pretty much every turn. So you have, you know, a, a bit of time to possibly the Galactus to, uh, to do your, do your dirty work and giving you a little bit of damage. And then there's the, uh, the cosmic tiles again that's gonna give him a little bit of ap there so he's got got two so again we're pretty much what you call on the clock and so you want to try and match away those cosmic tiles if you can always try and match away those countdown tiles if you can and here i'm just gonna set up and let Galactus do this thing, let him, you know, get out some more damage. I really would like it if I got some red, but, eh. Alright. We'll have... Finish there on deck pretty soon. There we go. And so he's done a little bit of damage to us. Go ahead. Fire off that red. Alright, so so far he's at at 10 AP with black. Again, cascades are cool. So we'll stop stop Galactus for a turn or two. Alright, I'll go ahead and burn rubber. And then of course I'll go ahead and pin and stare him since it's more than enough to kill him. And that'll That'll be that. Alright, so that's the crash. Again, thanks to the Alliance for playing as always. Pretty close to getting a legendary token. That'll come out Tuesday. So, as far as pairing up people with Ghost Rider, definitely people that can put out attack tiles on the board. Or that can help you keep your attack tiles on the board. So, so against someone like Polaris, you know, as long as you match away one of your attack tiles that's on the board, there you go. Uh, Medusa, she can do it with the heal synergy and and as well as her countdown tile, her red entanglement countdown tile. In fact, let me think here. Who else makes attack tiles? Uh oh. Well, I would say Misty Knight, but. But the interactions with Misty Knight, with uh, repeater tiles, and 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 you know making 
any sorts of heels like those there that those those days there are gone but i mean if you want to you know heal ghost rider or i should say well really heal misty i mean that's that's an option too but again she gives gives you attack tiles but you'll be really kind of conflicted with the green ability you know her green ability destroys fortified tiles Ghost Rider's green, you know, does team damage and puts out more attack tiles. So again, you got a little, a little bit of a uh, conflict there. Um, you could go with Carnage with the auto auto attack tiles, but but pretty much you're gonna be conflicted with uh, with red. Even though Carnage's red is really really good, Ghost Rider's not too shabby as well. Uh, you'll be conflicted with green, but at least you'll have black open for Ghost Rider's Pin and Stare. So that's an, again, that's an option. Uh, War Machine could be an option too, because he makes attack tiles on his red. But again, do you want the instant gratification with Ghost Rider's red, you know, doing damage to potentially enemies? Or do you want to wait four turns? You know, hope that the board gives you some number of some number of attack tiles to you know punish the opponent, you know, things like that there. So those are things to keep in mind. Um really those those are like the well I mean Nebula. Nebula is an option too, Rocking a Groot's an option with blue, but but even is it with that with with the choice of rocking and Groot, you're better off pairing rocking and Groot with someone like Polaris or or another member of the Guardians of the Galaxy just so you can get the strong strike tiles and all the other boosting shenanigans that they can do. But again, Ghost Rider is a is a decent character. Again, he's not someone that you should be chasing chasing after or I should say putting your resources into once you get other folks already established so if you got the choice between oh I don't know Talos and Ghost Rider go with Ghost Rider but if you got an option to say you know uh, looking at the screen silk and ghost rider i would probably go with silk over ghost rider because she has a little bit more utility with more characters she can heal you know do stuff with web tiles that's you know strike attack or protect tiles on the board you know do a little bit of damage here you know she has a little bit more synergy with with web warrior users and all that there whereas ghost rider you know you gotta not necessarily put him in a specific team or try to shoehorn him into a specific team but your options are kind of limited to say the least oh I mean, well not really kind of limited it's really more along the lines of is like who do i choose do i choose this character the para ghost rider or do i use this character and then and then you you know you put yourself in a little bit of a of a bind or a pickle to say the least all right so that's enough of me rambling here uh the next crash of the titans in and four days and counting uh as of the recording of this video will be black panther king of wakanda probably my favorite version of the black panther character that's been released in marvel puzzle quest Again, we'll talk about him, his synergy with his sister Shuri, and Magic. You know, we'll talk about all of them there in in that particular video there. Uh, as I always say, you know, be excellent to your fellow human beings. You know, to enjoy enjoy the. Um, you know this space season that we got going on i'll catch you all in the crystal video in a couple of days and then we'll be 
we'll be looking at her uh, PV, well, not her PVP, but we'll be looking at her feature store featuring Iceman and Storm and hopefully in that pool session, hopefully I can get a Storm to finally get her champion. So again, we'll we'll talk about all that good stuff there and in the next coming days so y'all take it easy